Hi folks, <coughs> excuse me. I can't uh, get these any bigger on this camera. Uh, these are about seven, eight by six inches. They're offcuts of MDF. So I don't <coughs> want to mislead you. Eight, eight by six. <coughs> so rather than throw pieces like that away, they make ideal supports for oil painting, acrylic painting. I've given a good gesso with a PVA glue, then gesso with some burnt umber mixed in with them. So that's quite a solid surface. Did, any, did anybody watch Fake of Fortune last night on the BBC? It was on a painting bought by somebody for seven and a half thousand pounds in Australia. Tom, I can't remember his name now, Tom Roberts, Tom Roberts, um, I think he was born in Dorset, UK, and moved to, uh, well he went to the Royal Academy for several years to study in the 1880s, 90s, 1890s, and then emigrated to Australia, where he became one of their greatest impressionist painters. Marvellous stuff. And this guy bought the painting for seven and a half thousand pounds, but there was some doubt cast on the um, on the provenance of the painting. But I won't spoil it for those that haven't seen it on BBC4 iPlayer. Superb, it's always a wonderful, wonderful artist. I thoroughly enjoyed it. But I, won't, I won't spoil it by telling you the outcome. Because the, the experts, they, uh, they check out everything. But uh, marvellous. One of the best things that BBC do with the art programmes. Uh, right, okay, so I'm going to do a lands try and do a landscape and a um, and a sea picture. So here we go, just pour out a bit of oil with a bit of dryer. I'm going to mix a bit of walnut oil with that uh, linseed. It doesn't matter, they're both vegetable oils, both harmless. Uh, I did a little bit of a tutorial on these lids yesterday. They're driving mad. They, they've got these caps on, haven't they? These childproof locks. And eventually, they, well, in the short space of time, you, you can't get them off. You just hear the click. So what I did, I slit, slit the side carefully with a blade going away from me with a craft knife. I just split. Then it came off. Now I can just undo the lid, uh, pour out a little bit of a dry on it, a little bit, and then screw it back. Stay tight. Don't do it up too tight, because otherwise it will stick. Then you'll have to use some pliers to to undo it. But that saves a lot of hair pulling out, trying to get these wretched things off. So I'm going to swing it in the bin now. Okay, so colours we've got. Uh, We've got some Griffin white mixed with some Titanium white, ordinary Winton. All, uh, all but the Payne's Grey are Winton, uh, Winton, Winton, Winton colours. Cadmium red, ultramarine, Payne's Grey, cadmium yellow pale and yellow ochre. Uh, I might, I might put a bit of Viridian, uh, I forgot the Viridian. Yeah, those of, those of it. I'll put a bit of Viridian out. I don't know whether I'll use it. <clears throat> I'm always telling you to keep a simple, have a simple palette, of five or six colours, and get to know what those colours do. These are all standard, common, common colours. No quinsiatrine and whatever fancy names for synthetic colours. So we'll get a sky in. So we'll have a bit of bit of grey. A bit of bit of ochre, and a bit of white. Let's get a bit of a printed oil. A bit more paints. Let's see a bit, bit of a bit of an abstract here.
a little bit darker. Bit of oil. It's just that mix of the the grey, the white and the ochre. Oh, ooh, I've got a sticky hand now. Right, I'm going to put some light in the sky, but I, I want to get a uh, bit of a Bit of distance, sort of like Dartmoor, Dartmoor. Okay, very high horizon there. All right, let's get some nice. Just a little ochre and a bit of wine. Okay. Let's just add a bit more light here. We don't have any hard edges, just feather them out. I'm leaving a bit on Jackie Gardner for this one. Got a bit of that background in. Okay, oh, we've got some rolling clouds here. Eh? Now we've got to put in some impression of uh, detail. So we'll have a bit of that uh, viridian, a bit of ochre, a bit of white. Oh, a lot of white. Dark on that background there, a bit of a burnt sienna. We'll add some trees and stuff in a moment. Trees, my favourite way of doing trees, three colours, three primaries. Add a bit of ochre just to line it here and there. OK, 
Okay, that's a bit, bit, bit more blue, I think, in, uh, in here. Just cleaning the brush as I, as I go in this bit of towel. Some shadow colour. Any bits and pieces you see, just, just rip them off. Sort of ugly bits. Yeah, I'll put some highlights in there. Sort of trees now. I don't use a lot of rhodium, it's a beautiful colour, but you can't go wrong with it. Sort of out on the moor. Now this view doesn't exist. It's just just a made up one. It's catching a bit of light on that, so. Nice bit of light green here. Yeah. 
Okay, well there's one little one. I'll put a mount on it. We'll have a have a little look before we go on to the next one. Got a little one, so there we are. Just a just a study, little study. But you can maybe make the sky a little bit lighter in there. Well, it's drying off already. A bit of blue, bluey green. It's up here. Right, okay, so that's one. Uh, Now these sort of things, when they work, you can can be mounted like four, five, six of them on a larger piece of white painted board, plywood, thin plywood, with a frame stuck around it. So there's a, like a not a triptych, it's a screen there. Uh, right, I'll leave that brush aside. Now let's do a bit of a, a bit of a sea picture now. Oh, where's my pen? Do a bit of a sketch. Just a, just a rough sketch. Right, just this old. Uh, There's so many of these. Oh, uh, we could put in a bit of a around the bay. Uh, that'll do, that's enough. Put the pen where I know where I lose it, and here we go again. Now, uh, do we want a stormy? No, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. Payne's grey, ultramarine, bit of red. See how rough this uh, surface is. You can hear it. Just let it fly a bit. A bit of red in there. Okay, red. That's a brush wearing surface. Uh, right, let's put out some more burnt sienna. Got a little tube I'm using up, but I've got a Big 200 mil tube as well as a backup. They were quite reasonably priced. This was about 12 pounds, including postage. Winton 200 mil tube, superb. Winton Newton burnt siennas in watercolour and oil are super. They're not so good on in the acrylic. Well, it's a matter of choice, but. Um, I like the dark red, the dark redness of the burnt sienna and it makes a beautiful cloud colour. Just cleaning this brush. Any of you doing crossword puzzles to fill in some of the time we get for being in lockdown? We're on our third thousand piece puzzle. It's a, it's a history, this is a history of Britain right back to the, the, um, oh, the prehistory, pre Stonehenge. Right up to more or less modern day, and it's got all these cameos. But luckily, there, there are lots of lines and lots of white background with printing on, so that you can get sort of some sort of reference. Okay, that's um, 
Not for me yakking, let's get a bit of white, a bit of that, a bit of that. Now what you want is, is softness, you don't want to uh, have any hard edges on this, all soft. more of it in place of yellow ochre. Just lighten some of that. Try to get an impression of movement. Clouds scudding across the sky. Got a bit of red in there. Can use burnt sienna for that. Off, off the board. This is Griffin White. Well, that'll do. Now we're going to some background colour, so blue. Right, then we'll have a bit here, but we'll have, uh, well, let's just get it in, let's go nice. Sienna. Paint's grey. Silhouette. Get some interest in that uh, the shape of that rock, but don't don't labour these things. If you fiddle around with them too much, you lose that impression of rock.
Okay, we'll let that go for it. We're bringing our sand up here. Don't like the shape of that one. So let's. Bit better. Right, okay, that'll do. Let's get our C in now. I'm just using uh, one brush. I'll use one brush for that one. I'm using this uh, Filbert, is it? Filbert, flat, flat. It's because it's worn. That's a flat. I was going to use that, but, the, but really for three quarter flat. The brush is a bit, a bit too big for the uh, board. So let's get it now. Let's have a nice. Nice dark. Oh, no, no, don't be too dark, do we? Got a counter change. The most important thing, really, about painting is counter change. Light against dark. Look, I've lost it there, so I'll have to. Lighten up the rocks and try not to go up hill. Keep that line soft. Do. Then we can lighten that. A bit darker. Now we've got a bit of check out change there now. Not a lot. Oh, we picked up the wrong paint there. Don't fiddle. Okay, let's get those other. Well, we'll get that sea and I'll paint the rocks into the sea. We'll have a bit of ripple. on there. Here's a highlight with Sienna. Reflection of the uh, of the of the sky. All right, some sand. So let's mix those two colours: yellow ochre and burnt sienna. Plenty of white.
it doesn't really reflect the sky, does it? Uh, let's go again. In. Bit pain's great. Just to make a statement. Because we've got um, shadow, just basically just a, a mauve with the blue. So it's only a bit of a burnt sienna to, to match that cloud. for the price of one.
there, that's where we want a bit more counter change. I put here. A yellow ochre. Alright, not the best one I've done. Put a bit of that to water come in. Down there. I'll put one dark bit. Uh, well, let's get some bright greens in there. This paint's thickening up now. Got to clean this off the palette. That's a bit better. Right, okay, we'll put the mount on that. I'll just dismantle my uh, palette. I'll scrape that all off. So be prepared to waste a bit of oil paint. It doesn't stay workable forever, especially when you're using a dryer. Alright, let's just move that one. Brilliant, that isn't it? Barry, your your gem. Give me some really good advice over the years, Barry, about how to stick the board. Okay, well there we have got two. Two for the price of one. No, no, they're not great paintings or anything, but it's just practicing. Practicing on your offcuts, your bit of bits of watercolour paper. Probably best to prime them the watercolour first to make it impervious to the acid in the oils and solvents and stuff. Okay, right. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye bye. No bike ride today. Uh, we can only go in two at a time, so my two pals have gone. There used to be six of us now, four of us. But, uh, anyway, enjoy the rest of your day folks, thanks for looking in, bye bye.